Welcome back everyone. Today we are looking at a bike that many people actually ask about but few actually purchase. This is the Procalibur 9.5 and this is Trek's lightweight carbon fiber hardtail race slash XC trail bike. The Procalibur is definitely a race bike option but with Trek's ISO speed decoupler it's also a smooth trail riding option. This is Trek's most affordable option in the Procalibur line but it still comes with all the features you'd be looking for out of a modern day mountain bike. Up front we are looking at a Judy RockShock SL fork with 100 millimeters of travel. This is an air spring of course and it comes with a 50 millimeter Maxxel Stealth Axle. This bike is also compatible with up to 120 millimeter from fork, which is a great size to improve the descents in a race. As we look at the carbon frame from Trek, we see it still comes with a knock block, which prevents oversteering and cables from being pulled when crashing. As well, it comes with very, very clean cable routing. For wheels, this one comes with Kovi TLR rims, they are boost, like I said, and an XR2 tire. So these are a fast rolling tubeless ready option wheel and tire combination being team issue and a 120 TPI so they will perform well, be lightweight. And although stock only 29 by 2.2, they do have a max tire size of up to 2.4, meaning you can set up with something much more aggressive. As we turn to the drivetrain, it does come with the Shimano Dior 12 speed. So this is a well-respected, high-performing part spec, honestly. Most people are very happy with its shifting and its speed, and I haven't had really anyone have any issues with it. In the front, they do have a Praxis crank instead of the Shimano, and it is a press fit bottom bracket for anyone interesting. It comes with a 30 tooth chain ring, but it does have access to fit a 34 on there. So you'll be really able to turn this into a fast rolling mountain bike slash potential gravel option. As this is a race XC bike, they have removed the dropper post, drops a lot of weight. It does have room to fit one being a 31.8 seat tube diameter. Brake wise, you have hydraulic disc brakes and they are the ever popular MT200. You do not get too many adjustment features with them, but they work well, they're reliable. Until you really start doing some crazy downhills, they will perform really, really well for you. Overall, the bike weight of this one is a shocking 26 pounds. There's lots of room for upgrades to drop this down even more, or you can even add more weight by adding a dropper post or something like that, and still end up being under 30 pounds to have a very lightweight bike. The Pro Calibre is definitely for someone looking to cover more ground quickly without switching to a gravel bike, or the XC rider who likes to keep a power down and is after some KOMs or personal bests on the trail. With the wide range of gear choices you can get and the ability to be put on bigger tires or a dropper post, this is a really customizable bike to make it capable for whatever you're trying to do with it. I really like how capable and open it is to kind of customize to you that this can be kind of a hardcore trail bike or a really fast gravel XC race option. I wouldn't be surprised if as time went on, we see more and more of these bikes become popular again as the gravel scene continues to grow and you get more mountain bikers intrigued in it. Personally, I'm pretty impressed with how this looks and how it will perform on the trail. It's got all the bells and whistles you'd hope, but with a lightweight carbon frame, it really puts the basis of a good base to start with. Obviously great to ride from the beginning, but you can probably find a way to make this more custom to exactly what you're doing, whatever that may be, just trail riding or more aggressive racing or gravel riding. The Pro Calibers have always been an interesting bike and many people always ask about them. Like I say, they're not the most popular for people to follow through with, but with these new improvements, I could see more and more be sold. And as the mountain bike revolution continues, I think it will be very interesting to see how many of these end up going out the door. What do you guys think of the new Pro Calibur? Pretty bold lettering on the colors and the frame design with the two-tone, but it looks good. I'm not sure why they went so bold on the top lettering compared to all the other bikes they have in their line, but I think it blends it quite well. It's not like it's too bold. All right, guys, leave a comment below, and thanks for watching.